I'm Roger Hunkler with Magna Shade. Uh, today we installed a set of windshield shades on Steve Smith's 2010 uh, Tiffin Allegro Red. We're going to put on the driver's side shade and we're going to show you how to do that. This video is going to explain how to install the side shades. It installs a little differently than the windshield shade. We use an exterior mounted magnet. One thing to note on this particular application is the upper pane of glass on the Tiffin coach, and particularly this, this and some other models, is recessed. On most motorhomes, that's going to be a non-recessed panel, so we're going to be using some additional spacers on that top part to bring the fabric out. So this will give you a good explanation of how these shades install. They hold very tight, real easy to do. We're going to go inside and lay out the magnets and start now with the process. Okay, we're uh, first step installing uh, the side shades is to cl clean the perimeter of the glass with a mixture of 50-50 alcohol and water. Uh, Zach is up on the ladder now and he's cleaning the perimeter. You want to rub it really good all the way around. You don't have to clean the entire glass, but you want to make sure that any wax, uh, Rain-X or any other uh, slick slick uh, treatments are off the glass. So he's going to rub that perimeter really hard about where those magnets are going to be mounted. As soon as he's done cleaning the glass with the alcohol and water, he's going to apply a silane glass treatment uh, by 3M. It's that little small spray bottle that comes with your side, side shades. Uh, that bottle has about 50 squirts in it, so there's plenty. You don't need to use much. It basically creates a monofilm on the glass so that water, moisture, uh, cannot encroach through to the adhesion point of the magnet. Once uh, we install these magnets, uh, we're going to remove them. You'd want to leave these shades off for at least three days if you have good dry weather. Uh, if you have wet weather, you want to leave them off a little bit longer. Um, the side window shades are carrying uh, magnets are carrying a static load where the windshield shade is not. So it's important that the magnets uh, be undisturbed for that amount of time. Okay, we're going to apply the magnets and the spacers to the shade. So the first step is to turn your shade upside down on a clean flat surface. So the, the outside of the shade is down. What, what we have here are the stitch pockets on the back side of the shade. As I mentioned earlier, on this particular application, the upper pane of glass is recessed. In any recessed area, we're going to use this spacer magnet. This is, uh, this is used to carry the fabric out on the same plane as the fixed glass may be in front or above it. Uh, so what we're going to do first, we know the locations. This is the front of the windshield shade. Uh, I'm sorry, of the driver's side shade. So we're going to place the spacer magnets on the pocket where we know the glass is recessed. And we'll start right here. So this will be the upper pane of glass. And then we know that the lower rear corner is the slider. It's recessed. And then the one above it. So those are the spacer magnets. Now the rest of the locations on any, any piece of glass that is not recessed, we're going to use just the single magnet. We're going to place that on those two corners. Now we've got those placed. Now what we want to do is we want to scoot all these magnets out to the seam just like that. So when you move this magnet, it's going to move the shade magnet. And if we need to move these in when we're installing the shades, we can. So these are adjustable. So you want to get these moved out to the edge and in the center. Now the spacer magnets already have the 3M VHB adhesive applied. On the, on the uh, single magnets, you're going to peel off the white film, leaving the 3M side up. and place one on each of the flat, flat magnets. Just like that. So now all the magnets are where they should be. The adhesive's on. Now we're going to stick them to the glass. Okay, so now uh, we're going to install this shade. As you can see, everything is, all the magnets are placed on the back side. This is how the shade will go on the motorhome. And what I'm going to do is hold it up on the window, get it all centered. I'm going to peel one magnet at a time and then move along until all the magnets are placed. Okay, I'm going to go
go ahead and peel one. I like to start on a corner. You want to be careful not to touch the adhesive. Okay, once we stick that to the glass, we want to give a firm pressure and a little rolling action to make sure that we get full contact with the adhesive against the glass. Let me give it about 30 seconds or so. Now we're moving along to the next one. Giving it a slight stretch. This actually goes very fast and if, as long as you clean the glass properly and move these magnets to the outside, uh, continue to give them firm pressure. This should only take a few minutes for you to install. If when placing a magnet it hits the frame, you can just simply slide it in. I'll slide that in just a bit. Today's really a perfect day for this here in Moxville. It's uh, December 3rd and it's going to be 72 degrees today. It's a beautiful day. You don't want to do this if there's a lot of moisture in the air. Wait till you get a nice dry day. Okay, now the top's mounted. We're going to go to the front. Notice I give it just a little slight stretch. This is one of those, just a thin magnet by itself, because this, this pane of glass is not recessed. Okay, now I'm going to work to the back. And this one I'll need to adjust in just a little bit. That gets me as close as I can to the frame. Check it, see if it hits the frame. It does just a little bit, so I'm going to just move that magnet in just a tiny bit. Okay, one more and we're done. Now after you get the magnets placed on the glass, just give each one of them a little more pressure. Make sure you give a firm pressure. You can also look from the inside. You can look and see if the adhesive is making full contact with the glass. Give them all a little more pressure. Make sure they're seated properly. All of our shades are designed as well as our windshield shade is the magnets that are sewn into the pockets, the reinforced pockets, they can move and they are, they're always going to stay fixed on a magnet that's fixed to the glass. So when you put it up, if you get a wrinkle running this way or this way, you pull on, you just tug the fabric on the opposite corner and the fabric will tighten up as the fabric slides beneath the fixed movable magnet. So every time you put your shades up, you should give them a little bit of adjustment. Once the sun warms this shade, if it's been folded, it'll flatten out just as beautiful as it is right here. And that is a beautiful fitting shade. Let me step back, we'll get a shot of that, and then we'll remove it. So 
get a uh, angle over here too. All right. So what you want to do with the side window shades after the magnets are installed now is remove it, leave the shades off for minimum 72 hours. Uh, if you know that's if you have nice dry weather. If it's wet weather, you want to leave them off longer. And uh, to remove them, give it a quick snap. So now the magnets are where they need to be, Steve. If you hold that. Since I pulled the shade off, I'm going to reapply pressure now to all these magnets. Good to go. So in the weather we have today, uh, Steve can leave these shades off oh, for about uh, 72 hours. Then they install with the rod like the windshield shade does and you're good to go. It's that easy.